Okay, so this is a return discussion where I had a guy do an immersion and we, we discussed in a previous video almost a year ago uh, about pulling straight away on the first date and or, or like off the approach and my argument is that if you pull early it's not just because you're trying to get laid it's because you are trying to lock her in to try and uh, keep her as something more like a girlfriend etc and by pulling fast pulling the girl you can try to build an emotional connection faster that's just almost the only way that you can do it and uh, he disagreed with me on this but what's happened now is he's gone out and had quite a lot of experience and he's witnessed what it's like to go out on well, anyway what do you think what, what have you learned since last time then anyway uh, what since... I've learned is that you Dave are mm. pretty much a hundred percent right <laughs> and I uh, I guess I didn't now that I've had a little less than a year of experience on my own um, I found that the girls that I pulled faster and almost right away or like first date first meet whatever you want to call it yeah uh, were better girls number one and two they always seem to return so like, I was mm. able to lock them in better girls as in more innocent or uh, just yeah girls? like probably lower lower body count girls yeah um, that's that's counterintuitive most guys at home probably think that if she sleeps with you on the first date she's like got a large body count and a bit of a whore yeah. but in fact it's the opposite what happens is the girls that sleep around a lot and end up having lots of one night stands they're, they're less likely to want to do it in the future and want to get more out of the dating process and make you wait um, uh, and, and the girls that will sleep with you earlier are a little bit less experienced they're less likely to understand they're like, oh, oh first date, oh, okay, you know, because it's like new to them. And the girls that are like, oh, we're going back to your place so soon, it's first date. They're the ones that have done it many times, otherwise they wouldn't have that experience. That's kind of why, too, you're kind of filtering out yeah, some exactly. bad girls, it's too. A, it's a great mm. filtering technique. Mm. Um, I remember even you told me through some coaching calls, mm. like, uh, you go on a date with a girl, and spend like a little bit of money on her and then day two or three she just pieces out because I didn't yeah. pull her home uh, I would have screamed that out because yep. she would have been like oh I'm going home and then I would have known okay this goes wasting yep. time on to the next one yeah so how many times have you got to the second date or the third date and the girl unceremonial unceremoniously uh, yeah. like rudely almost was, like like as if you don't exist just ghosted you after like having dates and yeah weeks was, of texts i think i had three in a row three after, and then but how many dates did you get up to on those three one or two dates one like we went so, on a like, so one one as in you've met her and then she's come out yeah, on the like, first so date and then ghosted ex excluding the pickup so sometimes you you pick them up mm -hmm. in like a grocery store or something yeah. and then a couple days later you, you set up a date or something yeah uh, it'd be that date I would just do it like the classic style just go out don't pull her to my place at all none, none of that stuff just try to be mm. a quote unquote gentleman yeah um, and then maybe even try to do a second date and see if I get them to come to my place mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, even though I probably was uncomfortable with it at that time, they would eventually uh, text me or and say, look, I'm, I'm not interested now. Yeah. And then, then it's like, okay, so the, not only a, the approaching, going out and approaching the girls, getting the number, texting, the time and effort involved, then getting her out on the first date, 
yeah. spending the money organizing it going starting to feel like oh I like this one and then you're, you're building a bit of a an attachment to her and then the second date she disappears yeah, and then it's like all of that no it's not only the effort it's also the emotional trauma of it and that you build this emotional baggage too and yep. and then after getting burnt a few times I guess you're starting to realize that if you were to just try to pull on the first day <laughs> it'll save you not just the time and the money which is it's not it's neg neg it's negligible it's not a large amount it's more like the emotional baggage that builds up after getting oh I think I think we're going somewhere with this one I like this one and then burns you and you get burnt and burnt and then it's like what if I did try to pull on the first date maybe and then it's like you're living in two different what what would it be uh, how can I describe it it would it's not it's almost like game theory in a way almost like a what if I didn't do this what if I didn't do that if person. you didn't try to go for the second or third date and you tried to pull then you start having that in your mind when she ghosts you on the second or Which third date did go into my mind yeah and you're like I should have just tried on the first time and then it would have saved me all of the texting and all of the and I burnt my weekend or whatever day you yeah. met up with her burn all that time and then she just disappears and it's like a and big I'm slap even in the thinking face. there's a chance that by me not pulling right away she might think like she's not attractive or I'm gay that I feel like that could be the risk like why isn't he trying to yeah and some other guy straight yeah. after you belligerent doesn't care doesn't give a shit about her tries to pull her on the first date and he sleeps with her and she yeah. falls in love with him exactly. when you've put in all this effort <laughs> and it's like then you start thinking maybe I should have done that, yeah. Yeah. But most guys probably watching this wouldn't have that much experience. They're probably doing the, the classic three date plan. You know, the first date's gonna be just a quick little coffee or a drink in a bar, you know, and then she goes home and then the second date's probably a proper dinner, you know, we get to know each other. Mm -hmm. And then the third date, we I buy her flowers, we get a limousine back to a, a better restaurant this time. And then I try to take her home you know um, but those guys they um, they don't often end up with high quality girls they some of them do like don't get me wrong like yeah. you know the, the, the divorce rate isn't that high but um, when you get a bit more experience or a bit more as much volume as you are now getting mm -hmm. it kind of makes sense yeah yeah definitely. because yeah that's one thing that we struggled with because I couldn't convince you of yeah, it. Now it, it takes the experience to understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, once it happens a <laughs> bunch of times, then you're like, okay, Dave was right. And then you try Dave's way and mm. uh, it works. And you get burnt yeah. too many times. The amount of times guys have tried this, they're like, okay, well this is, this is my future wife. So pulling on the first date, I can't try to pull my future wife on the first date because this is love, Dave. I can't do that. And he gets three, four dates in, and then she disappears, and he's heartbroken. He's carrying that for like a year, because <laughs> that was his future wife, right? Yeah. But if he had have tried to pull her on the first date, the emotional baggage, the trauma, mm -hmm. <laughs> the the date trauma from losing his future wife wouldn't wouldn't have been so great because I think guys get a, get attached too that's another factor yeah and, and it depends on how much money guys have some guys can't afford to be throwing hundred dollars away every week and end the time to maybe work suffered during the dating process there's a lot of factors here it's like just pull her on the first date <laughs> save all the troubles <laughs> yeah yeah, I definitely got attached to some of them because mm. they were really, they were way hotter girls than I kind of went for in the past. Mm. So, yeah. When, when they were hotter, were you more likely to go, oh, well, better get the limo and second date we'll, we'll go yeah, and know, get it's, oysters it's and weird, truffles? Like, the hotter they were, I'm like, oh, I should tread carefully. I should be a little more cautious. 
exactly. Like, I don't want to. Is that what you were doing? That's what I was thinking in my head. I'm like, oh, they're yeah. really hot. Let's be cautious about it. Let's not pull straight away. But it's the opposite. I should have just not listened to myself mm. and just listened yeah. to you. Yeah. Um, in fact, the yeah the opposite. The more you are, you're like, this is wife material. This is the hottest girl I've ever seen. This is we've. We've got so much in common. I want to date this one. Yeah. The more belligerent you should be. It's yeah. actually the opposite. It is. It's very comfortable. It's like just off hello, pull to the bedroom. <laughs> as belligerent as possible. Yeah. And it saves you because I think there's a lot of like trauma that guys have. And with pulling, mm. it's not necessarily you have to have full on sex with her, but pulling her to her place sends a message that. Yeah this guy wants like, yeah he's interested in and and then also the mm. screen tactic like is she willing is she compliant to come with me yeah compliance and yeah and is she too suspect because she's been in this situation like dozens of times before that's the other screen yeah you can tell body count by oh where are we going what where, where are we yeah. going after this where are you taking me it's like why are you so suspicious? Because many guys have done that before yeah. to her. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And that's part of the reason why. It's not just monetary, and it, and it's not just about having sex too. So look. I would say majority of people and women too will think it's just about sex. But really, it's just to try and lock the girl in mm -hmm. because you can't lock a girl in with truffles and a helicopter ride and 20 dates in because then she'll just learn to exploit you. Yeah. She might have, have less respect for you because of that. Yeah, that's a really good point. Mm. She would. She'd probably think you're less of a man something or other or oh, this is the, the guy that's going to pay for everything and then love is the guy that will try to sleep with me immediately yeah and then you end up screwing yourself over and then end up with time and effort and everything involved yep. that's unfortunately how life is you know so the amount of times guys have told me that they've got multiple dates in and then she just unceremoniously just blocked, ghosted, didn't respond or sent like the paragraph explanation oh, why you, you're not going to see each other again yeah. or something and then you think all of the time and effort that went into it, women don't understand this and they don't care about it. So it's like full first date cool first day <laughs> save all of that trauma that's yeah. that's part of the reason why i don't have all this baggage that a lot of guys have Definitely. yeah and that's where it came from too setting that sort of strategy up no that's a good point because mm. you go out there day game or night game all the rejection mm. you go through and then when you do get a hook and yeah want to actually go out with you and it's like oh my god this is wife material yeah. i like this one <laughs> you try to pull, if you try to pull fast and she rejects you, it doesn't matter as much as on the third date. It actually, it matters on the third date. It matters a lot more. It's like you're building it up to something. Yeah. And that baggage can be, you can be carrying that baggage a long time. I've heard of so many guys that stick to this third date rule. And they're carrying like, they're carrying something there, like emotional trauma, and, and then after a while they start getting angry. Fucking bitches, keep rejecting me. It's like, well, you can solve all of it, not get angry, not not be bitter. Yeah, it'll, it'll definitely by keep pulling you, off the hello or pulling. The game longer. Yeah, you probably would. Yeah, would, you would give up if you keep getting this. All yeah, the there's guys. Well, there's guys in Sydney that I know that are still gaming, but. They're either, some, some are like, have some sort of a mental thing, you know, where they just can't build emotional connection. You know, like guys that have like severe autism or something like that. 
or psychopathy or something. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're a normal guy, you're going to be negatively affected, and this is like a uh, a way of protecting yourself too. That's another thing. I'll be protecting you emotionally so that you can keep going out there approaching and meeting and dating new girls and then eventually find the one you know because ultimately they're the ones making the decisions this is what a lot of people don't get about pickup is that ultimately the girl's deciding whether she hangs around yeah we just need to avoid losing too much money time and and getting emotionally burnt too much yeah, definitely. <laughs> in the process <laughs> and have so much volume that it you know it doesn't get to us yeah that's um change hands mm. yeah so it only took what six seven months for me to change my mind okay i th I probably change it sooner it's just we haven't really well come come a little bit closer i hope i hope it, i hope they can hear it because the pool's loud really loud yeah, mm. yeah i probably changed yeah. my mind sooner but this is i think the first time we're talking face to face and like uh yeah quite a few months or probably like six seven months i think mm. and and that was it just having them ghost or getting the texts uh, like, oh, it was nice going out with you, but I'm gonna, uh, and I'm just not in the mood anymore. Or like, just some random text that's like, bullshit, really. Yeah. Okay. And then immediately you just thought, oh, I should have just tried to pull faster. Yeah. Upon when you were self-reflecting, mm -hmm. it's like, <laughs> if I did first date pull, I probably would have been yeah. in on those. Yeah. Are you still thinking about those now? You're like, oh, there's a, there's a few of them where you got a few dates in and you're still kind of thinking about it? There's definitely one. Cause in the back of the mind. One of them was like a legit 10 in my mind. Okay. Like the like ideal um, girl that I wanted. So that one, but there's a few others mm. I'm like, I've had some success afterwards that it kind of uh, made me forget about it. Okay. Because yeah. you get, when you get a bunch of wins in a row in this, yep. like, you feel a lot better as a man. Yeah. Like tonight. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like tonight. Tonight was what a ten to twelve minute pull. Like come. <laughs> yeah. Most of these nerds that watch YouTube videos are not gonna believe it though. They're like, oh you're paying for hookers. Mm, nope. <laughs> Ten, ten, ten minute pull and yeah. The funny thing is, I won't say the other thing that happened. Me and you, we the girl I pulled, <laughs> the the girl I pulled, me you you just happened to be standing beside me mm. when I talked to her when mm. I first got the initial number. Yeah. So. Mm. But if you guys mm. are listening, when I went on the first date, uh, f close in under twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. You counted. Because <laughs> <laughs> she met me right near our hotel, so it's mm. like a two minute walk. Yeah. And she said that she hadn't hadn't slept with anyone in a yeah, while. Yeah, she hadn't been with uh, anyone for quite a long time. Quite a long time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that's, that's another factor as well. Mm. Well, yeah. I kind of picked up on it on her vibe too. That comes mm. with experience to, to see these things. Yeah. Mm. So the this is part of the reason why I think it's a good idea to try to pull on the first date. Another factor is, let's just say you said there was a ten, right? Or you know your version of a ten, yeah. like wife material. Right. So if you're whining and dining and taking them out on yachts and giving them helicopter rides during the dates, you're actually just propping up the egos of tens too. That's another factor. If if she gets treated that way, but if every guy is like, okay, this is a ten, I'm <laughs> pulling her first day. Oh, the she's job. getting a 7-Eleven coffee max <laughs> and she's getting pulled to the pool. <laughs> then she's not really exploiting men as much. 
there's still going to be simps out there that are going to do that regardless because men are pathetic. Oh, there's yeah, men all over. But if, if there's enough men that get it, they get the game and we play, play it properly, then we can lesser the influence of a 10 over our... negative influence yeah, of a exactly. 10 over our society. Because right now we have the Massive. opposite domino yeah. effect. You have guys trying to simp too hard. Spend too much money. And then they're expecting yep. the next guy and then they yep. end up yep. creating this negative domino effect on men in society. And it should be 7-Eleven coffee, yep. dollar shitty drink from Woolworths, <laughs> maybe some chips. Yeah. Chips, maybe if some they're on dip. Sale, if they're on if, sale. Yeah, cheese if it's on sale too. Like, and it's got the little label on it saying it's going to go off tomorrow. Then yeah. you get that, and then you pull back to the pool and pull back <laughs> to your room. If she's not down, fine, next. <laughs> go exactly. find her. I don't care how hot she is. <laughs> and then it's better for society, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I'm, I believe that though. I don't think we should be and then like as soon as you start dating them like you maybe locked her in it's it, you feel a lot more safe you might have pulled her the first date then you can take her out to dinner yeah. then you can like be a bit more caring then it's, you feel a little bit more safe but don't expose yourself so early too yeah, exactly. That's a, it is a lot of this is about protecting yourself emotionally I don't think I don't think men because we're, we're the, the cannon fodder, we're the ones that are supposed to take all the shit of society, we're the slaves of society, and we're not allowed to have emotions, then men forget that we do, and don't allow themselves to take this seriously. I don't... And it's almost like, out of all of the things, we, this is one of the things we're not allowed to actually have like it's like we we're not allowed to have standards in dating either yeah. like we're just nothing you know that's the society's way way of treating us really and yeah that's probably another reason why men throw a lot of money around on dates and a lot of time and you know you see those girls on instagram and they got these massive bouquets of flowers and stuff who's buying that shit some man is dying inside by doing that on the first or second or third day. Just, just trying to get her. Just so that she can post it on Instagram to all of the other dudes that's following her. Hmm. Yeah. I know a guy like me is not going to get those Instagram girls through Instagram. Like, I have to do it yeah. through dating. You're going to do it through day. cold approach, yeah. yeah. Cold approach, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that was the main takeaway then. Yeah. Just the almost game theory aspect of it. It's like if you pull and then she she goes through with it, it's kind of game theory. It's almost like the prisoner's dilemma. Your the dominant strategy is always to try and pull on the first date. Yeah. She rejects you the first date when you try to pull, then you don't have the extra trauma of first date, second date, third date, fourth date, getting rejected. But if you do pull and you do sleep with sleep with her, then you win, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you win both ways, technically, by you, trying to pull on the first date. You even win when you try yeah. to pull because even if you can't successfully pull on the first, mm. she will give you information, good or bad. Yeah, that's the other fact, that if she's... Yeah. If she has communication skills, which let's be realistic, a lot of women don't. Yeah. And she says, um, I like you, but it's a little bit too soon. Yeah. Boom, then that's as good as getting late on the first day. Uh, communicating that she wants to see you again and then you're safe in what's happening here. Exactly. Yeah, she's going to come back. She's not going to ghost you and disappear. Yeah if she has those communication skills, which is rare these days, actually. My hair's sticking up. Mm. So they're the, they're the takeaways. What's the third takeaway then? Is there a third takeaway? Uh, third takeaway is experience it for yourself and find out the truth. Yeah. 
it's yeah, really well, that's like, it. Yeah, a video to tell guys, and then yeah, uh, even I was the same as maybe as these kind of mm. uh, skeptics, right? And then yeah, you, you open up your mind and get some experience. Yeah, the truth. For and this is so. Sydney. This is not Bangkok. For those guys in the comments, fuck you. <laughs> some, some guys like think I'm living in Asia. Uh. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. It, it really does matter when it comes. To, you really don't know until you get the experience, and that's that's another aspect too. Is that a lot of guys that are probably watching these videos, they don't think that any of this is real too. So. So that's um. That's on them. Yeah. Yeah. So the conclusion is you should be trying to pull on the first date for a multitude of reasons. Not only to protect yourself, um, but because you can filter out good girls. And thirdly, I would say, uh, you know, you'll be doing it. It'll be good for society too, to not be simping so much for women and giving them so much power. Mm. And that's about it. That's all you want to add to it? That's all I can think of. That's pretty much. Yeah. If anyone was to have questions, which we can't do a live here, I could go into depth on this, on why. I could go into depth. Like, yeah, we've had that discussion. Why it's the dominant strategy. But anyway, you should be trying to take her home on the first date. And it's not a degenerate thing and it's not about getting laid, it's about trying to get the girl. See you guys in the next video.